Right, my friends, what have we got here? Rashawn Slater. Number 79 on the list of the top 100 NFL players in 2022. He's a tackle. He plays for the San... Not the San Diego... Los, Los Angeles? Los Angeles Chargers. That's the one. Being a tackle, he's the meat um, in the sandwich between the, um, the defensive ends and the quarterback. And with that in mind, let's see how big that piece of meat is. Rashawn Slater, he's a young fella, 23 years of age, 6 foot 4, 315 pounds. Uh, went to Northwestern College from 2017 to 20, got picked up in the first round of the 2021 draft, pick number 13. He made his first Pro Bowl in his rookie season, played 17 games, started 17 games, and uh, got clocked at 4.88 for the 40-yard dash. 33 inches on the vertical, 10 foot 4 on the broad jump, and 33 reps on the bench. Yeah, that's a big piece of meat. Oh, yeah, Slate. Yeah, I actually uh, worked with Slate when he was in high school. He used to work out with me, and we used to get a little work in. I'm not going to take the credit from Hang on, how does a high schooler get the opportunity to work out with Trent Williams? Um, but he was extremely polished in high school, and he's even better now. Must have been a five-star recruit. You know, it makes me feel old as hell. <laughs> Yeah, they probably look the same age, though. I ain't gonna lie. Rashawn Slater was a polished gem from the moment he stepped on the field in the NFL. I think what makes him so good is he's pretty good at everything. He run blocks really well. Rashawn Slater, the rookie tackle, helped open up this hole. Look at Rashawn Slater, the rookie number 70 out of Northwestern, out there leading and getting a nice block out in front. Well, he pass block really well. Rashawn Slater playing that left tackle has just been elite. He's very smart. You can tell he always knows what he's doing. Even as a rookie, he looked incredibly comfortable in that system where they drop him back 30 times a game with a quarterback who got a big arm potential. So you got to protect a little longer in cases. I think Slade did an amazing job. He is an immovable object. Having a tough time out there today? Uh oh. Are you serious? No. Okay. <laughs> I would just say demeanor and, and maturity just kind of like all plays into it. You know, he just doesn't look rattled out there. Well, I'm not surprised he doesn't look rattled. He put, it, he put in a full four-year college... Uh, career prior to that he was training with the likes of Trent Williams obviously been you know touted as a, a top prospect since uh, since high school and with that in mind he's not going to be a guy who's been thrust into it you know he's he's taken his time he probably could have gone into the league after three years in college took the fourth I always love to see that and here we go hit the ground running he's got real good technique very stout Getting that kick out block right there and push somebody that far out of the hole. That's nice. I trained with him this <laughs> offseason, so kind of got a good feel of what type of special talent he would be. He was even doing pass sets on his honeymoon in Bora Bora. His dominance can possibly be wow. explained by simple physics. He's not like super tall, so he's like at the perfect height to where he doesn't play too high or doesn't play too low. He's always at like I like to call it standing leverage. He has that natural bend and that natural athleticism. He's not too tall, but he is six foot four. Let's remember that. He doesn't play in those positions, and so he doesn't get powered or outran in those things. So it's kind of a perfect match. Rashawn Slater is a tremendous young. Honestly, it looks like his um, his frame could could be filled out a little bit more. Like he's he's not he's not fat by any means, which is a daunting prospect. Left out as a rookie. We have been monitoring offensive linemen and left tackles that are rookies for a long time, and he has been the best in pass protection over the last 10 years that we've seen amongst the rookies. Yeah, it, doesn't look, it looks like he's, he's definitely got the athletic ability to, um, to hang with the more mobile of, uh, of, of defensive ends and tackles. I think Slade did an amazing job just to see his growth, to see him go accomplish his dream. 
I couldn't be more proud of him. Jesus, I was like, how tall's Herbert? It looks like he, he he's making him look like a child, for God's sake. But Justin Herbert is six foot six, so I suppose. Yeah. Anyways, guys, um, that was fun. A tackle. Not my favourite position, not the most glamorous position, but the more I watch these videos, the more I appreciate them. Thanks for watching, guys, and in the next one, we're checking out Trey Hendrickson. Defensive end for the Bengals. Catch you later.